Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, I thought we'd go over a little bit about plant count and what I mean by canopy. Now, you'll probably remember this plant because we did the trimming videos and we took some of the tall plants and we stuffed them down into a tent like this with a couple of trellises like this. And those were in a couple of the other videos. So today what I'm looking to go over is plant count and canopy. Because all the time you guys come into my store and you ask me, oh, I've, how many plants do I need? I've got two plants, four plants, six plants. But I don't want you to focus on plant count because when you do this right, these things grow like a fucking weed and you're not gonna need nearly the plants that you think you will. So what I'd like you to notice here is that this is a two by four tent. And well, this plant's been growing in here about a month. We just trimmed this up for the video and we're about to cut her down and put her out of her misery because we don't feed her, we don't do anything. I just wanted to kind of show you what a trellis looked like. And when I talk about canopy, the difference between plant count and canopy. And here's what I mean. This is one plant. It's in a two by four space. But notice the whole space is full. So this is a 400 watt bad boy T5. It's got eight bulbs in it. And you can see the light does hit the floor. But most of the penetration is right here. And it's a T5. So you're really not gonna get more than 10 or 12 inches of penetration. So if you wanted to grow a half pound dry from a 400 watt T5, you would need to grow one and a half pounds wet to get a half pound dry. So you'll need the whole canopy filled up like this. And I don't care if you veg one plant like this for months because you only have the one plant and you're making it for a video, or you take four plants. My point is you have to have this part of the canopy. Notice how the plant's stripped. You want the plant to stay as low as possible with as much canopy because each one of these is where the buds are going to come up and stalk. And if you want one and a half pounds wet or a half pound dry, you're going to have to have this whole canopy two feet deep by four feet wide by one foot deep by the time it's finished. Because if you only have half this canopy, you can only get half that yield. Also, if you only have half the canopy, then this would be twice as much light. And so there's a couple of things to consider. Like even if you had a supersized hood, you could not put it over this garden here unless it had like a 400 watt light in it. If you put a 600 watt light in it, you would need twice the canopy. Because if you get a half pound from a 400 watt light and you get a pound from a 600 watt light, then you would need twice the canopy to get twice that yield. You can't put a pound where only a half pound will fit. You can't put two apples on a tree where only one apple will fit. Otherwise, they wouldn't plant 400,000 acres of apples. So if you get a pound and a half from a thousand watt light, that's four and a half pounds wet or one and a half pounds dry. If you get one and a half pounds dry from a thousand watt light, you would need three times this space. So two by four, one or two feet deep, that's a 400 watt light. Four by four, or twice this canopy, well, that's a 600 watt light because 600 is going to get you about twice the yield of a 400. And a four by six or a five by five, two feet deep, well, that's what's required to get a pound and a half or four and a half pounds wet. Remember, a thousand watt light is three times as bright as a 400 watt light. So you need three times the canopies, three times the tops, three times the volume of canopy where the bud happens. But notice, I didn't say you need it three times the plant. Because I don't care if you do one plant, you can do three plants, you can do nine plants. Your yield is based on light and quality on grower talent. So you can have as much light as you want. But unless you have the canopy to convert that light into sugar, and grow bud on, you're never going to get the yield you're looking for because you just can't put a pound where only a half a pound will fit. And again, when you look down here, notice it's one plant. And while we were trimming this plant, and this plant is months old and it's awful and it's purple, you can see the breakaway tops, but you can, you can get the idea of the canopy. Now, go back and look at your garden. And look at your small little plants 
and look at how many plants it would take to fill this up. And they have to be healthy because if they're over water, too much light, or you fed too many nutrients, your plants are gonna be stunted and miniaturized. And it doesn't matter how much light you put on them because if you don't have a healthy plant, this whole thing is kind of pointless, right? Because what's a plant do? A plant is a photosynthesizer. It uses light for energy to convert water and CO2 into sugar and oxygen. Nowhere in this equation do nutrients exist, so you can either add more light, too much light, the number one problem, you can add more water, too much water, the number one problem, or you can add CO2. All right, now let's stop there and talk about the CO2 for a sec, because if you're not going to add more light, and if you did add more light, you would need more canopy, and if you're not going to add more water, so you don't overwater, then the only thing left is CO2, and CO2 will get you 25% more yield. Because what happens, what does a plant do? A plant uses light for energy to convert water and CO2 into sugar and oxygen. Nowhere in this equation do nutrients exist. Now, the plants use nutrients for salt, but the sugar that they make from converting the light, that's what they use for energy to drive all of its processes. So again, you have to have enough plant to convert that light whether it be 400, 600, or 1,000 watt. And if you don't have enough canopy to convert the light, one of two things happens. Either you're throwing light at the floor, or your plant is going to get too much light, and it's not going to be able to convert that light. And I know you guys leave comments on the videos all the time. Oh, I wish I had that problem of too much light. Oh, too much light, how can that happen? But let me tell you, if you run your plant at 101% speed, your plant is on a path of destruction because she cannot convert 101% worth of light. This is why I always tell you guys, run your plants at 85% speed. You don't need to try to grow the best bud ever. All you have to do is finish without any problems. And you're like 98% of the way there. Don't care which nutrients you use. Don't care about none of it. If you just finish without any problems, that's 98% of the quality. That's why I tell you, I don't care if you're trying to grow the best bud ever, because if you got half the yield you were supposed to, then you were worrying about quality for nothing. Because when you get the right yield, I know that your quality is there, because you can't get the quality without the yield. And you can't get the yield without the quality. And when you guys come to my store and you ask me, I want to grow the best bud, what's the best this, what, what should I use, what, I want to, I got 28% TH dick, I, none of it matters. Because if you didn't finish and get the yield you were supposed to, then the amount of light and the cost it took you to grow that bud, you could have got it cheaper on the street, definitely for less work. And if you only got half the yield and the bud you bought on the street got the correct amount of yield from their light, then their bud was better than your bud. Listen, bud today is so good. It's all fantastic, right? If you just do a good job, you don't have to worry about anything more than just doing a good job. And that's why I tell you, yield is based on light and quality on grower talent. And I don't care how many plants you grow you can put five pounds on a 14 foot tall plant outside. You can get an ounce of plant. You can grow in one of those $399 eBay computer bullshit cases with 100 watts of compact fluorescent light. But in the end, yield is based on light. The process takes you know a couple weeks in veg and eight weeks in flower, like 12 weeks. There's no shortening it. And while there's lots of stuff and shiny things for you to buy, I just want you to remember that yield is based on light and quality on grower talent. And as long as I got you here, let me show you one more thing. This is the new filter from Vortex. And it's the smartest, most cleverest thing that I've seen with filters since the filter. And what's the number one complaint that growers have? And that is, how long is the filter gonna last when you put the fan on it and you're sucking from it, right? And so here's what you do. Check this out. It's completely adaptable now. All you have to do is pop in the adapter filter and now 
This filter can be any size fan. This is the bottom. You slip it on the bottom, and then in a year, what do you do? Boom, take the top off. Flip the filter over, put the bottom where the top was, put the top on the other side, and you've got a whole nother filter. All right, I'm the grow boss. I write the grow book, an equipment guide. If you have any questions, you can call my hotline. It's 49 bucks an hour, but with the results like these, compared to the results you're getting, and all the money that you've spent on equipment, perhaps it's worth it. All right, I'm the grow boss. Like my video, don't forget to share it with a friend. You can find my books, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide at your local hydro store, eBay, Amazon, or from my website, thegrowboss.com. Thanks for watching.